there again, warriors. I hope you've enjoyed our first five videos of chair yoga. Each video is going to get just a little more intense, teaching you more poses. So this will be the sixth video. Um, we're, we will be adding in uh, reverse warrior and a few other things. Not reverse warrior, but extended side angle. So get you a chair. Make sure your feet can touch the floor flat, even if you have to scoot a little bit forward onto the chair and just start to relax your body coming into a sort of mountain pose. Your shoulders are above your hips. Bring your shoulders back. Pull them down away from your ears. Keep your eyes closed. And begin to breathe deeply in and out through the nose, expanding the belly on the inhale. And then exhale, pull the belly in to the spine. The low belly pulls in and you lift up that pelvic floor. And just begin to think about something that you would like to accomplish today and just work towards that goal. Any time during this video, you can pause and grab a drink of water. I will also give you cues and breaths. All right, go ahead and begin opening your eyes. And we're just going to begin by taking some shoulder rolls. So bring your shoulders forward, opening up those shoulder blades in the back. Now bring your shoulders up, bring them around, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and just keep moving in that fluid motion. Warming up the body. Really squeezing the shoulder blades together as you pull them back and squeezing the chest together as you pull forward. We'll go in the other direction. So bring the shoulders forward, down, and around. So this gets us a little bit into some neck tension. So come to center and take a deep inhale. And exhale. Sit up tall, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. And just let your right ear fall toward your right shoulder. You can bring your left arm down to the side, intensify that stretch. Drop your chin down towards that right shoulder. Feel the stretch move. And then roll your head down to chin to chest. You can even put a little bit of pressure on the back of the head. Now roll your left ear down to your left shoulder and let your right arm hang down. Or you could bring your right arm around your back like we've done in previous videos. Now bring that chin down towards the left shoulder. And 
bring your head back to center. Take your hand and grab right above your clavicle bone and pull down on that skin and then pull your head back, feeling the stretch in the front of the neck. You can even stick your chin out to make it more intense. And release that. We'll go ahead and work into some arm movements. Bring the arms up overhead. Just begin to squeeze those hands slowly. Squeeze pretty hard here. And really want to begin to work those forearms, getting some pickle jar opening strength. <laughs> so begin to move faster and faster and faster till you're squeezing as quickly as you can. You really feel it moving into those forearms and the hands. All right, shake that out. So now we're gonna take our left, our right hand, extend the arm out straight and just pull the fingers back, stretching out that forearm. Don't forget to breathe deeply. Now turn the hand palm face down and pull the fingers back, stretching out the top of the forearm. and release that hand. And we'll just do the same thing on the left side. So palm faces up, pull the fingers back towards you. Now flip the palm face down, pull those fingers back, just a little tip, if you have to type a lot during the day, these are really good exercises for you to do to keep you from getting a carpal tunnel. All right, let's shake that out. So now we're going to work on some arm exercises, and it'll also work your core slightly. So make sure your feet are planted. You're going to pull your belly in tight so your ribs are going to come down. You're not sticking them out. You're pulling them down, flexing your core. Ball your fists up, and all we're going to do is punch. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do this, let's say, about 30 times. So. If you want to go a little faster, keep those fists balled up tight. Don't hyperextend that elbow. Don't lock it out. Remember to keep that core tight. All right, I'm beginning to feel that in my triceps. So I bet you are too. I think we probably went a little over 30. So just shake that out. Pull your um, shoulders down away from your ears. Sometimes when punching, we can tend to hunch those shoulders. We need to keep them down. So since that worked our triceps quite a bit, go ahead and reach your right arm down your back and push that elbow back, stretching out that tricep.
All right, release that arm, shake it out, take a deep breath, grab a drink of water, whatever you need, pause the video. I'll always be here when you come back. Inhale deeply and exhale. Boy, those punches got my heart rate going a little bit. So that's like always a good thing when exercising, especially if you're older, you really need to work on that cardio output. So bring that left hand down the back, the same as we did the last time, and really stretch out that tricep, which is the muscle in the back of your upper arm. release that side. We'll take a few cat cows here. So round the shoulders, pull those shoulders forward. Tuck the chin and then open the chest. Even pull the head back and then tuck and then open. Tuck and open. We'll do a little bit of a twist. So plant your feet. You're going to take your left foot, cross it over your right. Take your right hand to your left knee. Grab the chair with your left hand and exhale, twisting to the left. All right, come back to center. Inhale and exhale. My microphone is not wanting to stay in place today. So take your right foot, cross it over your left. You may need to give it a little bit of help. That's perfectly fine. Take your left hand, place it on the outside of your right knee. Grab your right hand to the chair and twist. Exhaling, pulling the belly in, keeping the shoulders over the hips. Come back to center. And we'll just take a forward fold. So make sure your feet are planted. Inhale deeply. Get some length. You can keep a hold of your chair if you need to. And just forward fold down towards the ground. You can place your hands on the ground. You can scoot your feet out a little bit if that feels good. And just let your head hang. Let your body rest on top of your thighs. Inhale, walk your way back up to sitting, exhale, 
Take a little break if you need. And we'll come to warrior two. So sit, planted your sits bones on the um, chair. <laughs> Raise your arms up overhead. Flex those triceps. Keep your shoulders pulled down away from your ears. Rotate your pinky fingers in slightly. Pull your front ribs down to flex your abs. I don't know how this thing keeps moving. And hold your warrior three. Five breaths. Bring your arms down. Take a break if you need to. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and get a good, good grip on your chair. Get your balance. Turn towards your right. Make sure your right glute, right butt cheek is planted firmly on the chair. Plant your right foot down. Just send that left leg back until you're working it towards straight. You really want to try to get your hip flexor here straight. You can have a little bend if you're in your knee if you need to. You're planting your weight down into the knife edge of your um, back foot. So from here, we're going to turn towards the front of the chair. Send our arms out, shoulders height. We'll look over that right arm. Front ribs down, flexing that core. Five breaths. Lower the arms, grab a hold of your chair, and just turn towards the front. Inhale deeply, and exhale. All right, grab a hold of your chair, and turn towards your left. Plant that left foot down. We'll try to only have your left glute on the chair. If you need both, that's fine. Send your right foot out to the back. So your feet are about hips distance. Try to flex that quadricep. You may need to bend that knee. Try to put the weight to the outside edge, knife edge of that right foot. <laughs> Turn your torso towards the front. Extend the arms out. Look over the left arm. Five breaths. Grab onto your chair, turn towards the center. Now we're going to take it into a little bit of a flow, but at any time if you feel fatigued and you need to stop, just come back to center, get your breath, stretch it out, whatever you need to do, grab a drink of water. It's always important. So we're gonna start out in warrior one. We'll only hold it for one breath.
Now we're going to turn, grab a hold of your chair if you need to, turn to the right and take your warrior two. Open the arms out to the side. One breath. Now bring your left arm down your left leg. Hold on to the chair if you need to. And lean that right arm up and over, stretching that right side. Bring your arms down, grab a hold of your chair, turn to center. Now we're going to turn to the left. Well, first we'll do warrior one at the center, two breaths. Turn to the left, we'll take warrior two, open it up. Now reverse that warrior, five breaths. arms down, grab a hold of your chair for balance, turn to the front, inhale, and exhale, take a break if you need, warrior one. One breath, turn to your right, we'll take warrior two. One breath. Reverse your warrior. One breath. Now begin to bend that right elbow. You may need to bring your foot, your left foot in slightly to get a little more balance. Bring your right elbow down to your right knee. Turn your torso open to the side. And raise that arm, left arm, up overhead for extended side angle pose. Inhale, come back to center. Rest for a second if you'd like. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale up to warrior one. Grab your chair. Turn it to the left. You know what comes next. Warrior two. Inhale and exhale. Reverse your warrior. Right hand down the right leg. Left arm up and over. Inhale. And exhale. Now pull that right foot in if you need to, just for a little balance. Bend the left arm, bring it down to that left knee, 
turn your torso open to the front. Bring that right arm up overhead for extended side angle. And then work towards, see if you can work towards straightening that right leg back out. All right, guys, let's come back to center. Take a little break. Inhale and exhale. Now you're going to turn to your right. Make sure you have that. You may need to be right on the edge of your chair. Just make sure that your right foot is planted. Grab a hold of your chair with your right hand. And just work your hand down to your left knee, your left hand to your left knee, and pull that left knee in, left foot in, stretching out the front of the thigh. And you may not be able to go very far. Just as long as you feel the stretch, it's all that matters. And people a lot of times worry, well, I don't look like you. I don't, my, my poses don't look like you. Everyone's bodies are shaped differently. Uh, we all have different levels of flexibility, so it, not everyone actually know two people unless you're twins, and that even still has uh, some variation. Um, but what I'm getting at is no two people are going to look al exactly alike in their poses. So release that leg. Come back to center. Inhale. And exhale. Turn towards the left. Come to the corner of that chair if you need to. Grab the chair with your left hand and just bend down, reaching for your right foot with your right hand and pull that right leg in, stretching the front of the quad. All right, slowly release that foot down back to the floor. Now from here, grab a hold of your chair for your balance and begin to stand up onto the left side of your chair. So I'm going to grab, scoot my chair up a little bit. I'm going to grab the back of my chair. I'm going to plant down through my right foot, bring my left hand to my hip, and begin working my left foot up my leg. You may come to your ankle here. Don't come to the knee because that's an unstable area. You can come to your calf or you can bring it all the way up to the inside of your right leg. And if your foot won't stay, what you're doing is really pushing your legs Pushing your left foot into your leg and pushing your le right leg into your left foot. So if you can stay here, keep your hand on the chair, and just let your hand hover here. If you start to feel like you're going to fall over, just grab the chair. It's always there for you. And hold your tree pose. We'll grab a hold of your chair, slowly let that left leg fall down. Now just walk around to the other side of your chair. Keep your left hand on the chair, 
plant your left foot, reach down and grab your right foot, bring it wherever you brought it on the other side, or if you don't have that flexibility on one side or the other, you can hold your foot in place and then just let your left hand hover. Hover, touch, hover, touch, hover, touch. Right, so grab a hold of your chair, let your foot slide down slowly. I'm going to scoot my chair back so I can have some room on my mat. And first, we're going to um, take some marching poses, which will be good for your abs. I'm going to move my chair out of the way a little bit. Maybe even a little more. Give room for my legs on each side of my body. Lay down onto your back. Now from here, you want to tilt your tailbone up. So your low back is pushed into the mat. You don't want your belly out. You want your tailbone tucked under so your low back presses down into the floor. Push your hands down into the floor. Just lift one leg in at a time. We'll do 20. Bring that in, leg in as tight as you can. I think that was 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, one. And I want to mention, I should have mentioned before, if this is too easy for you, you can take both legs in and down. So we'll save that for the next video. So now I'm going to extend my arms out to the side, plant my hands down lift my knees, let my knees just fall to the right slightly, and don't forget to tilt that tailbone, flexing the abs, now go to the left, go to the right, to the left, to the right, this is too easy, you can bring your legs down even further. This is working your oblique side muscles. to center, pull those knees into the chest, plant your feet down on the floor, and we're going to take a camel pose to stretch out the front side of the body after that core work. So if you're not on carpet or you don't have a very thick mat, I would grab a pillow or something thick and soft to protect your knees. Push your way up, and I'm going to come over to my chair, 
I'm going to bring my feet behind or right underneath my chair, bring my arms back, and I'm going to tilt my tailbone under, grab the chair legs to bring my shoulders down, and take your camel pose. Your knees should be about hips distance. Walk your hands back up the chair. You're going to bring your head up last. All right, so now just place your hands on the floor and work your way towards the long side of the mat, whichever side the chair isn't on. And we'll take a child's pose to stretch out the low back. So bring your knees out wide, bring your feet together, and just let your hips sit down towards your heels. Once you get as low as you can, you may not even get very low at all. You may even want to put a pillow in between your glutes and your um, heels. But from here, walk your hands out front. You can also have a pillow underneath your chest. And just let your forehead lay down on the floor. Breathe in your child's pose, stretching out the low back and the hips. From here, just take that pressure into the forehead, the third eye position, and just roll your head around in a circle, relieving some of that stress. Go the opposite way. Begin to sit up. Walk your hands out towards you. Just any way that you can, come down onto your glutes. Send your legs out in front. Scoot your way down your mat. Now bring your feet to the outsides of your mat. Bring your knees together. And just let your body slowly come down into your Shavasana pose. Bring the palms up to face the ceiling. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. I encourage you to stay in this Shavasana as long as your day will allow. Take time to clear your mind and just Take time to focus on yourself. In the meantime, may my strength strengthen you. Stay strong, warriors. Namaste.